Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a volcanic update. Thursday, December 31st, 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2020. Soufre, St. Vincent Volcano, West Indies, in St. Vincent. Volcanic alert level raised to orange. That's one step before major eruption. New lava dome growth. The old lava dome, you can see here to the right, the new lava dome forming and active. Now, why am I bringing this to your attention? Well, it is very, it's a very dangerous volcano on a highly populated tiny island down there in St. Vincent. Orange alert after magma expulsion from the volcano. We do have video. Now, Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez warned inhabitants of the north of the Caribbean island to prepare for an eventual evacuation in areas ranging from Georgetown to Fancy. And that's the whole island. Seismic Research Unit of the University of East Indies requested to avoid tourist visits to that region because of increased activity at La Soufre, a volcano that released a high cloud of steam and has erupted. This is a grand solar minimum volcano and it erupts in a spectacular fashion and it is very dangerous. He also recalled that signs of light volcanic activity have been detected since November 16th. At 4,049 feet, La Soufre is the highest peak on St. Vincent, which is a densely populated island with over 100,000 inhabitants. This volcano has, been, volcano has been active since July 1995, and the last time it erupted was 1979. Its geologic history also records violent eruptions in 1718, the end of the Maunder Minimum, 1812, the middle of the Dalton Minimum, and 1902, the middle of the Centennial Minimum, and most recently in 1971, during the Ice Age scare. Yes, it all is related to cosmic rays, and we're going to break it down. First, we'll take a look at a video clip showing the lava dome. And I will turn off the audio here. This dome seen here is sitting next to the, this larger dome behind it, which is part of the 79 eruption, which was not violent or significant. But the fact that it, this dome grew so quickly is leaving to pause. And according to all the volcanologists, this is a very dangerous sign, and we need to be keeping a close eye on Soufri Volcano. As a new eruption... Yeah, this is up on Soufri, La Soufri. Yes, it is. Up on La Sofri, La Sofri. And there you see a side shot. Here's from a different direction. Here's that old lava dome. Here's the new lava dome. All inside the 1812 Caldera crater. Yes. Let's do a little background. Now, this is just south, south of St. Lucia, which is all south of the main Caribbean islands, Cuba and the Dominican Republic. This is part of Dominica, I believe. And now the eruption style here is effusive lava dome extrusions, and that's this one and that one, 79 and recent, but it's typically explosive. And we'll get to the breakdown of the history here in just a moment. And the most recent eruptions are 2020 now and 1979. Now, Soufre St. Vincent is the most, is the northernmost and youngest volcano on St. Vincent Island, the 1.6 kilometer wide summit crater whose northeast rim is cut by a crater formed in 1812, lies on the southwest margin of the 2.2 kilometer wide Soma crater, which is breached widely to the southwest as a result of slope failure. Frequent explosive eruptions since about 4,300 years ago have produced pyroclastic deposits of yellow tephra, which blanket much of the island. The first historical eruption of the volcano took place in 1718 and the 1812 eruption produced major explosions. Much of the northern end of the island was devastated by a major eruption in 1902 that coincided with a catastrophic Mont Pele eruption on Martinique. Picking it up, a lava dome was emplaced on the summit crater in 1971 during a strictly effusive eruption, forming an island in the lake that filled the crater prior to an eruption in 1979. The lake was then largely ejected during a series of explosive eruptions, and the dome was replaced with another. And that's the story, and the story continues. The University of West Indies Seismic Research Center, in collaboration with the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, reported that visual observations on the 29th of December, just a, two days ago, confirmed new lava growth 
located on the edge of the old lava dome in 1979, forming a dome on a rim of the dome. An effusive eruption of the volcano is accompanied with oozing lava and fumarolic activity. The last eruption occurred 41 years ago as a series of explosive eruptions ejected the dome and was replaced with another. Now the alert level for the volcano was raised to orange as an increase of seismic activity at the volcano has been recorded since early November. Bad news. We do have the seismics up and there's nothing happening here, but here you can see very high hazard in the northern area and subsequently less hazard as you travel south towards Kingstown. However, a large BEI-4 would put all of the lives of all 100,000 people at risk here, clearly. We're going to bring you over to the Smithsonian Institution and Global Volcanism Program, where they have detailed analysis of the eruptive activity, including the recent weekly reports, which we basically went over about the lava domes, some activity back in 2005, and more important, the eruptive history that we want to break down tonight uh, in great detail. That 1902 eruption that killed many people on the island was VEI-4. And then in 1812, the crater former VEI-4. And the 1718 eruption, only VEI-3, but all explosive. So it's been getting stronger in recent activity on about a 100-year periodicity. Take a look. 1718, boom. 1812, boom. 1902, Boom! And the big one's coming, clearly. 2020, couldn't get any worse. So there is alert, uh, ongoing alert, and let's just break that down real quick for you. Um, so here, here we are. Let's real quick take a look from 1718 to present. VEI-3 and 1718 would coincide with the end of the Maunder Minimum during a high cosmic ray flux period. The VEI-4 back here in 1812, well, that's very telling. Here's 1810, 12, right here at the minimum of the Dalton, high cosmic ray flux in 1812. And then we come look at the next VEI-4 in 1902, and that puts us square center at the minimum here during the centennial minimum. All of these major eruptions followed two cycles of high cosmic rays or low solar cycles here in the Dalton. Look at how small that cycle was. Almost no cycles reported before the eruption in 1712. And we are coming off of the smallest cycle in 40 years. Really 80 or 90 if you want to go way back. <laughs> so there is a direct correlation between the eruption of this volcano in St. Vincent and high cosmic rays. And we just laid it out for you. And so there is some bad news for those living on St. Vincent. Orange alert after magma expulsion from Soufre volcano. And we're going to be keeping a close eye on it for you. Soufre St. Vincent volcano has been reactivated. Alert level to orange. And a potential large explosive eruption may be imminent. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find any tremor activity in recent times right near here of any significance. And we're filtering all magnitudes, so I can't get any high resolution in Kingstown. But they are saying in St. Vincent that there has in increased seismicity here, so we'll keep a close eye on it. Hope you got something out of the video. Volcanoes are awakening. And the last time this baby blew, Mount Pele blew in Martinique. So we're going to keep a close eye on Soufre, as we know that it erupts at VEI-4 during high cosmic ray periods. Be safe, everyone. That's boom. The knowledge.